Hey guys, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It is Wednesday, June 19th. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also smash the like button. This is, of course, not financial or investment advice. Let's take a look at the market here. Market is actually looking pretty pretty strong right now. We've, we've been seeing some sideways movements, but right now from a 24-hour perspective, we are up around 1% to 2%. So we are seeing some green Bitcoin at $9,280, Ethereum at $269, XRP at $43. Um, and let's hope Bitcoin can cross over 9,500 and we build some new support levels and work our way up to $10,000 where I believe uh, we're going to see some FOMO kick in because the headlines are going to read Bitcoin hits 10,000 again. Is it going to 15,000, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You guys know how this works. If you've been in the market long enough, uh, we are certainly in a bull run. Um, or a bull market, I should say, excuse me. We are in a bull market and we're going to be hitting higher highs. It's just going to be, uh, it's going to take some time, right? Bull markets and uh, both bull and bear markets can last sometimes for years. So keep that in mind. And what we've seen is the cycles have been getting longer for Bitcoin and the crypto market as it matures. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. And we got some big things coming up, launches of uh crypto trading services, Bitcoin happening coming up next year. So big things ahead. Now, we're going to talk a bit about Ripple and XRP because it involves Western Union, you know, one of the largest money transfer company in the world, um, you know, from a uh, payment service provider standpoint. Um, and we just heard MoneyGram signed on with Ripple officially to use Ripple's XRapid, which leverages XRP. P. Um, and Western Union's CEO was at Fortune Magazine's Brainstorm Finance uh, conference here, where he was asked questions about cross-border payments and leveraging cryptocurrencies. So just to give you some context, Western Union stock plummeted when Facebook made its announcement of the Libra stable token or global coin or whatever you want to call it. So they are probably on their heels right now trying to figure out what's going on how can we compete because uh, obviously the market recognized that hey this is might make some of these money transfer companies a bit irrelevant and moneygram i think got ahead of the curve and worked out a partnership with ripple and um i think western union may follow suit let's let, let's uh go through some details here shout out to leonidas who pulled a video of this um and the Western Union CEO said they're still testing Ripple. So he's talking about X Rapid, looking at Ripple and learning from Ripple. So similarly to MoneyGram, Western Union signed up um, in a piloting relationship where they're piloting X Rapid. And here's something he said uh, while being interviewed. He said, look, hey, I'm open to any cost savings and any innovation. I'm there. We can sign a deal tomorrow. And he name dropped Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple. Now, what was interesting, and um, I will uh, put a link to the video in the description because I don't want to play it here and have copyright issues. His tone was very different. He was very smug months ago where he talked about, oh, yeah, we did a trial. We didn't see any benefit. Um, and they, well, it came out that they only did like 10 transactions and like small transactions, so which was really weird. So they are still partnered for that trial, right? So this is still happening. And like I said, the other things that are happening, like MoneyGram making the move and their stock plummeting because of the Facebook Libra announcement, I think they they're, they may be forced to leverage Ripple's X Rapid protocol because you have a competitor who's making a move to improve the faster payments. And then you have a uh, Facebook, a giant, right? That is launching a stable coin, whether you like it or not, um, it, it could disrupt Western Union's business. So they probably have some decisions to make um, here. And I could see them, once again, signing on. Because look, look at his quote, right? We can sign a deal tomorrow. He's open to anything that uh, relates to cost savings and innovation. And he was uh, speaking in the context of uh, Ripple's X Rapid. So you XRP haters, I hope you see what's happening here. And this is not a white paper. This is not a decentralized app being built on Ethereum. And that's fine and dandy, right? I hold Ethereum, I hold Bitcoin. But this is big time real world adoption. And you, you got to think of it from a business standpoint now, what's going to happen in the disruption, uh, because this is this is not some joke. This is a 
massive company that's been around for a long time. And uh, they and MoneyGram and many others are moving a lot of money. Now, um, some other Ripple news, which I thought was very significant. So shout out to XRP Research Center. Um, Michelle Bond joins Ripple as global head of governmental relations. Now, look at her background, though. Senior counsel at the SEC, guys. Really big acquisition or poaching here. Um, counsel for the Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs, regulatory analyst, analyst at FINRA. Big move by Ripple here because what is the roadblock here in the United States? SEC clarity along with the CFTC, along with the FINRA, right? Uh, the, the Financial Regulatory Authority. Guys, if you bring these people on board with their existing network and relationships and history and working in in the SEC and so forth, this is big. And of course, Ripple is going to leverage these people to get uh, approvals, regulatory clarity, laws passed in their favor and so forth. And a lot of that is because of XRP, a digital asset. Guys, big things ahead for XRP and Ripple. And uh, I personally diversify, but I'm most bullish on XRP. Now, we got some bullish news here out of Russia. Russia to adopt crypto legislation within two weeks, Deputy Finance Minister, uh, says Deputy Finance Minister. Russia's parliament, the State Duma, will adopt the country's major crypto bill on digital financial assets in the next two weeks, according to a local senior financial finance official. Uh, the news was reported by a Russian government-backed news, so it's not some joke, um, you know, not from some random blog. It was the Russian-backed, the government-backed news agency. Russia's deputy finance, uh, finance minister, Alexa Mosiv, if I'm saying that right, revealed that the state Duma is currently considering the digital financial assets and is expected to adopt the bill in the second reading within the next two weeks. Guys, big things are happening. And we know the G20 stuff is coming up, the uh, F8, FT uh, regulations. So uh, things are moving ahead. The future of this market is so bright. Now, some more amazing news. Price Water Cooper House, um, which is an, a, one of the big four auditing firms, has released a cryptocurrency auditing software. Guys, the infrastructure is being built on every aspect, whether it's accounting and, and uh, management and, and, and uh, custody and all kinds of stuff. It is being built and because this is the new asset class. So Big Four auditing firm, uh, PWC, to abbreviate the name, announced the release of a cryptocurrency auditing software solution in a press release published on June 19th. Per the release, the new tool um, added to PWC's Halo auditing suite can be used to provide assurance services for entities engaging in cryptocurrency transactions. What have I always said about the big money? They need insurance, assurance, security, right? You've heard me say that like probably a hundred times. And uh, it's all being set up for that big money. And this is where patience is so important. Um, I always try to remind you guys, if you ran scared when there was blood on the streets, when the prices are really low in December, um, you would you miss the perspective. You miss the building that's happening in this new market. Um, and it's, it's those who wait, those who are patient will be rewarded, guys. The firm claims that with the new addition, the Halo Suite permits uh, PricewaterCooperhouse to provide independent evidence of private-public key pairing to establish crypto asset ownership and gather information about transactions and block balances for blockchains, from blockchains, excuse me. So our ability, here's a quote, to audit an entity engaged in cryptocurrency activities is very much influenced by our client's controlled environment. And at this stage, by the breadth of tokens supported by our Halo software, these considerations uh, will be key when determining whether we are comfortable to accept an audit engagement. Now, lastly, it specified the announcement that the new addition to the Halo suite supports Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Diamond, Litecoin, Ether, uh, OAX, which is an ERC-20 token, and XRP. They, of course, have the big players in there, the, the top four, right? 
Um, so guys, I mean, look at what's happening and guess guess who they're going to be providing services for. Th take a wild guess. Backed, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, and all the other hedge funds and investment firms, guys. Now, finally, Crypto Asset Manager launches new indices tracking groups of privacy and smart contract platform tokens. So MV Index Solutions and Crescent Crypto, a U.S. digital asset manager, has announced the launch of three new crypto indices, each combining tokens from a different genre, including smart contracts and anonymity. So privacy coins and your smart contract um, coins, essentially. Um, so currently ethereum takes a first spot followed by eos and stellar um and you know they have the other respective uh crypto here but once again this goes back to infrastructure being built out and um, these indices we see nasdaq launching indices a lot of other stock exchanges as well because you need the big data you need the data um, that's pulled from verified sources so when that's fed into uh, reports and all kinds of analytical systems and 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 trading bots and softwares they see where we're headed guys the same way the stock market is set up and i hope you see how bright the future of this market is um so that's the news guys what do you think about this could bitcoin see 9500 in the next couple of days western union could they sign on for x rapid i i mean the statements being made by their ceo he almost seemed nervous he seemed like he was very humble more humble this time versus uh you know how he his tone was different and i think they see the writing on the wall uh with what facebook's doing what moneygram just did with ripple and there's going to be other firms right money transfer banks and so forth they're going to leverage xrp guys the writing is on the wall here so i would love to hear what you guys think leave your thoughts and comments below thumbs up if you like this video Please subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, and I'll talk to you guys later.